Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to your weekend reading. Hope you all had a lovely week. This is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Uh, if you are new, welcome. Please do smash that subscribe button and do hit like on the video if you enjoy the reading. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, you can book a phone call or a text message reading. So the link is in the description box below the video. All right, Virgo, so let's get into this reading. We're going into this weekend, um, January, I don't even know what the date is, <laughs> the 26th through the 28th, okay? So we're going to take a look and see what messages there are showing up here for you. And we're starting with, or you're starting with, I should say, cycles. Oop, goodness, fate, karma, something ending, and something beginning, Virgo. Okay, so something, something's out <clears throat> and something new is coming in. So let's take a look over this weekend. We do have the full moon in Leo this weekend as well. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a look. Fate, karma, something ending and something is beginning. What is beginning for Virgo? Starting over the weekend. Okay, let's see. Do they want to give you a card? Okay. Queen of Pentacles, oh, Knight of Pentacles, Two of Cups, oh shoot, Virgo, um, somebody's making an offer to you, you've got the Two of Cups here, there's going to be some love communication happening over this weekend, Virgo, um, so if you, you might get some text messages or something coming in, I can't see, my camera's up too high, you might get something coming in, like a message, uh, looking at your computer, looking at your phone, some messages are going to come in, um, looking at your laptop, your iPad, on your computer, um, there's an offer, maybe for a date with someone, it could be a Leo for some of you, it could be another earth sign, um, there's fire, I don't see air, but that doesn't mean that's not going to come in. But it looks like a lot of communication. Cupid's arrows with the eight of wands. Good news. Someone offers to pay for drinks or a meal or, um, you know, maybe you do. You ask somebody out over this weekend. So I do feel like you're connecting with someone. And this is like a new cycle. So this feels like it's new love or somebody new coming in. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is a solid offer that I feel like is coming in here. It's romantic, you know, but it's, it's, it's leading to romance. Or you and another person fall for each other over this weekend. Um, could be water as well. Could be a water sign. So it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There is fire. So, yeah, I feel like... This is a solid offer that will lead to a long term. Somebody's, whomever you connect with this weekend, it feels romantic and it feels like this person is interested in a long term kind of relationship. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. This might also be an energy of a long time coming. Okay. So I feel like if you're single and you've let go of a past relationship, um, and you have been single, this is a positive thing for you. So it feels like new love over the weekend. Could also be the other person as well. So let's take a look. I do feel like you'll be communicating online. Okay. So you have the Seven of Swords, Ooh. Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. There's your air sign. So Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius. Okay. So there's also an energy here of um, someone has made a decision to sneak away, I kind of feel like, or run away. Um, hmm. That's interesting. And it looks like it's a queen of swords. Um, I don't feel like you're connecting with a queen of swords, though. I don't feel like you're actually... I feel like there's an air sign who's out of the picture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, there's an air sign who's just gone, just is is 
Uh, I'm hearing they're telling me that somebody's gonna communicate. I feel this feels like another person. Okay, that some this this air sign is gonna communicate with you, and I'm hearing accuse you of cheating or juggling them. <laughs> Virgo, <laughs> accusations are accusations. Okay. Um, so this could be somebody that you were connected with before. Um, it's a harsh energy. The Queen of Swords is very direct and harsh. Um, is going to accuse you or or make claims that you are that you are juggling them and somebody else. Okay, accusing you of being a juggler or cheating or or uh, lying or being deceptive. Okay, I don't know why you need to know that. There, why does there have to be a damper on a good thing? <laughs> I just feel like that's the, the the message they want you to know. So if you've ended something with someone, it doesn't have to be an air sign, but who, whomever it is, or you've just shifted your energy because you want to connect elsewhere from another person, uh, there's some something's coming in. This feels like a totally separate message. Something's coming in from somebody asking what you're doing if you're if you're if you're messing around with somebody else, if you are juggling them and another person, you know, you get the gist, okay? Um, I just feel like, I don't know, Spirit wanted to tell you that. Let me just get one more card here. Yeah, okay, that is so... Somebody's really upset. They're stressing that something's over. Okay, so this... So I kind of feel like with this cycle energy, out with the old, in with the new... Either you're leaving someone or you've cycled out of, from a past relationship or someone that maybe you were connecting with and <clears throat> you have an opportunity to connect with, feels like new love with the two of cups, somebody new, a lot of communication with somebody new, um, but you're going to have some backlash over this weekend, it feels like, perhaps starting on Friday. Yeah, there's some backlash. I mean, this person... This Queen of Swords is typically someone who's either divorced or they're uh, just, there's a lot of baggage. They don't have to be divorced, but they typically can be. A lot of baggage, a lot of anger, direct, callous. There's no love. They're communicating. They want to know what's going on. Um, so yeah, um, I feel like to let you know that that's kind of showing up here, right? So it, it, it looks like there's a transition into some kind of a new beginning with someone new, maybe a friend, or you just connect with someone and it, it starts, it goes really good, okay? Um, maybe some of you are getting away from this other person because you're always being accused of things, um, are always being like, this person's very highly anxious. They might have like an anxious attachment. Like the minute that you are not available to them, they accuse you of cheating or they accuse you of lying or sneaking around or juggling others. So I feel like you need to know um, about this. Or maybe you already know and you need to know that this person's going to, this other person will be reaching out over this weekend. Um, from their anxiety and will be giving you anxiety and stress okay um well that's a tough energy there that's tough but you know what are you gonna do right um if, if you break if you're breaking up with someone or you are, have left a relationship because you are um wanting to find more of a, a a better foundation with someone where there's an alignment a soulmate kind of connection um yeah, there's going to be some backlash. Okay, I keep repeating myself. Let's move on and see what else is going on. And four more cards for you for this situation over the weekend. Okay. Four of Swords, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Wow. Five of Cups. Oh, wow. Okay. Virgo, looks to me like... There's this, I'm really, I feel like coming from you, there's kind of this, like, I'm really sorry. Um, there's somebody else and I'm blocking this connection, okay? There's somebody else that, look, you see how temperance has two cups here and then 
the two of cups are here so i feel like you're going to make a connection with someone that you're in alignment with over this weekend okay um like i said it could be another earth sign doesn't have to be it could be a, a water sign it could be uh fire but it looks like yeah i'm it's kind of like I, I'm hearing maybe you text the person or you email them or you write them like I, I regret to inform you <laughs> very formal letter um, you feel kind of bad that this other person that you're leaving or that you have to respond to there's an energy of like feeling some grief about it but it seems like maybe sorrow or sad that it something didn't work out I feel like that you're you're train you're cycling out of something here over this weekend and it's either because you've met somebody new um or it's because you're just done and somebody new happens to show up because you're done with a relationship here okay so i kind of feel like that's what's playing out here especially on friday let me get a couple of i want to get your some chinese right because we haven't done those like in the first couple of um the, sh the shorter videos so um let's see what the chinese sign is of the person that you're connecting with this two of cups chinese sign of this of this person you'll be connecting with over the weekend for virgo who's virgo connecting with over this weekend their chinese sign so it could be one of these okay you have a monkey you have a horse double horse there you have a rooster now also this could be you and the other person dragon you're the dragon double dragon double monkey <laughs> okay year of the snake year of the goat year of the tiger year of the dog so if you don't know this person this new person you don't know their chinese sign that's okay maybe you'll find out later but i see a really nice starting connection with somebody new it's new love cycling out of an old relationship or an old connection or dating scenario whichever it is where yeah the other person that you're walking away from that you're breaking the heart maybe you know there is a, th a third party kind of thing happening here okay um there's discord there's an argument and I see you trying to bring balance to this situation and calm and temperance and not trying to stoke any fires. But it looks like you're coming into alignment with someone new over the weekend. So, I mean, let's take a look and see messages of love here. Okay, vulnerability. So you can be completely open with this person or these two people and being completely open um is the way to go right be open with the new person vulnerability is like you don't want to open up your heart and just be like here this is where you can push my buttons to hurt me it's just vulnerability is like being true to yourself right um being open with if you're ending something with someone or if you have to tell someone again that you're not like that it's over be open and honest with that right because i feel like you would like someone to be that way with you okay um unless you're in a scenario where you have to keep telling somebody and then it gets to the point where it's like you know what you, maybe you need to block somebody here because they're not getting it okay but you can also be open and honest with the new person as well and share your truth what else do you have here okay warning don't dismiss some red flags here so that red flag feels like this other person that is giving you a hard time big red flag big big red flag with this other person that's what i'm saying um you know even if you i feel like if you were with someone before like that person this person you were with before i feel like you were being accused of cheating or of lying or being deceptive even when you weren't right and and i feel like that's what the red flag is here i feel like this person this ex or whatever you want to call them whoever they are just throwing massive flags on the field here you know and maybe you finally are like 
that's it. I'm, I'm done with this. I can't do it anymore. I can't because this person just... It, it's kind of like if they if you weren't like sidestepping or stepping out or anything like that with somebody else and they were accusing you of that i feel like some people are like you know if you're going to keep accusing me th of that then i guess that's what i'm just going to have to do because what's it get me even if i don't you know so you know i don't know exactly what the scenario is but i do see you cycling out of one thing I just saw the strictly sexual card. So that past person or the one that you're walking away from, that might have been a very sexual relationship. For them. And that person might have misconstrued or got very attached to you because of that. Where maybe they fell in lust and it wasn't really love. You do have healing, old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So you might be getting away from a bad relationship where you want that person to heal. You need to heal. You need to like focus on that right now because something obviously looks like it tore you down. It really does. It looks like it just broke you into pieces. So some of you might have left this relationship a long time ago, like I said, and the person is just still reaching out. Okay, look, you've got put away the computer. <laughs> So some of you have this connection with somebody new over the weekend that you have a, like I said, you connect with them over the weekend on, on through the computer. Now, a computer could be your phone, <laughs> any digital device. Um, but you might also have that digital connection with this other person. I feel like maybe going off the grid over the weekend and, you know, the full moon in Leo is pretty much like if you feel like you need to disconnect from all negativity um go outside disconnect from your devices during this full moon <laughs> just disconnect and just get out there into the world and just i don't know go sit in a field or go take a walk just try to get like some harmony and balance back into your life oh geez my cards fall all the time i need like a little person down there <laughs> to just say here you go hand it up to me okay so you've got rejection this rejection is actually divine protection so yeah so you're being asked to reject the person who's giving you a hard time um or they're rejecting you they could be rejecting you over this weekend that past person <clears throat> kind of like well you're doing this and you're doing that i don't want to talk to you anymore and for some of you it's a blessing in disguise um but the new connection will um move towards a sacred union healthy it feels healthy the two of cups is just exchange re reciprocity sharing together so that's like super beautiful i feel um you know if you're that person who's ending a relationship with someone because you met someone that you feel is more appropriate or more suited to you um whatever do what you got to do you know especially if someone's accusing you all the time of cheating or lying or being deceptive it's just like okay gotta end it right gotta end it or disconnect from it Let's see what other messages there are for you oh okay material wish is being granted okay that's nice yeah the past returns Right. The more you disconnect, the more you cycle out, the more this other person is holding on to you. And you, ha you might have to go no contact, which is what I see here. Kind of a blocking no contact energy from a past person that's giving you a hard time, Virgo. Um, all right. Let me see if we can get some initials. Numbers. Okay. Someone is 56. Um the initial W, okay, someone was born 1990, someone's 34, someone's born in 1970, let's get to see if we know what their, um, a zodiac sign, zodiac of the new person, Aquarius, you have Gemini, Capricorn, zodiac of the past person, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. 
So keep in mind that when I give you these readings, this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So you could be a Leo Sun, or you could be a Capricorn Sun and have um, a Virgo possibly in your Moon or your Venus. Okay. Also, uh, Taurus again, Leo, and Pisces. Okay. I also have someone is 28, someone is 47, 1977, someone's born in November. Okay, we got the letter G, and someone is 65 or born in 1965. Okay, let's get a charm for Friday. We're going to look at Friday going through the weekend. Oh my goodness, what the heck is this? This is... Let me show you. It's a skull with a top hat. What in the heck? That's very goth to me. Or what's that other thing called? Steam pipe? Goth or steam pipe? Maybe somebody has a tattoo of that or is really into like horror goth kind of stuff. Um, you know, I know there's a meaning for the skull with a top hat, but I think... I can only intuit what I'm picking up here with this, but you know what? Let me just look because I want to see if anything shows up here. Skull with a top hat meaning. And if you have any inclination to what that might mean, definitely leave a comment or in the chat. I'm going to see if there's any kind of connection to that. Hmm. What does a skull and a hat mean? Oh, this, okay, it says, oh, not that skull on a hat. <laughs> this is not a skull on a hat. This is a hat on a skull. Oh, Guns and Roses? Okay, maybe there's a connection to Guns and Roses. The band? I'm trying to, you know what? I wouldn't have thought that. I mean, I should know that, right? Shouldn't I? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything that's really coming up with a meaning. Uh, it could, yeah, there could be a connection to voodoo. Uh, tattoos. Maybe a skull cap. Somebody might wear a skull cap. Um, and in Mexican culture, obviously skulls mean death and rebirth. So there could be a um, Scorpio connection to that. Pluto. Um, yeah, leave a comment if you guys <laughs> have any idea it, what the meaning is or what it means to you. All right, you guys. So let's move on to the next day and see what else is going to come up for you over this weekend. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what messages are also coming up. Okay, you have intimacy also playing out intimacy sexual chemistry reminiscing all right let's take a look so if you listened um to the first part of this reading cycling out the old and in with the new so let's see oh wow virgo this weekend looks pretty interesting you've got the knight of cups okay you've got the king of cups now, this could be related to the first reading, or it could be um, just on its own, but there is a romantic offer, a romantic, sexual, intimate, loving type of communication from a King of Cups, which represents Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, Virgo. Um, this person's very curious about you, and I can already see where this reading is going. This kind of makes me feel like this person, they're, they have their eye on you, Virgo. This King of Cups, they have their eye on you. This person's in love. They have very strong, chem, like there's strong chemistry. They feel chemistry with you, sexual. They're thinking about the past, perhaps reminiscing about some intimate moments together that you guys might have had. Um, a lot, there's going to be some communication, a lot of, like, what are you up to? What are you doing? Who are you talking to? Um, uh, where have you been? Where are you going? 
and um, a lot of questions. They're asking a lot of questions. All right, now we have the Queen of Cups. So yeah, masculine or feminine water energy showing up here, okay? Um, and this person, hmm. I feel like it's the same person. They're looking into their crystal ball. <laughs> they could be if they have one, but um, let me see here. Oh, uh-oh. King of Wands is showing up here. What's going on, Virgo? What's going on with this King of Wands? Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, okay. So, you've got mail. <laughs> you've got two people showing up here okay yeah you do you've got one person that is going to make a love offer that uh, water energy is coming in and then you've got this you like it's going to be talking to you reaching out to you or communicating with you and may propose either like it's a romantic offer but it, it has something to do with intimacy and affection and kissing and opening up and sharing and asking a lot of questions of you but then you've got a king of wands which is a fire sign who is coming to the end of a very difficult struggle and is uh looking out on the horizon uh in regards to like what's to come um, this hangman, I feel like this person's energy, uh, they might be very spiritual, um, and it could be religion, it doesn't have to be, it could just be very spiritual. This person is looking at you in a very different light, okay? Um, and I feel like they're in this waiting position. They're putting stuff out there. Uh, there's, there's, I feel like they might have reached out to you before and are waiting to hear back from you. Yeah, okay. So it's not just one person. There's two. You've got two people here. So when I say the King of Cups and the King of Wands, as always, if, 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 if this, the message resonates for you, but the signs aren't the same, just take it in stride because that could just be energy. The water sign court cards represent feelings and emotions. And the fire sign court card represents action and deliverance and movement. Okay, let me just take a look at you. So you have a king of cups who's, or masculine or feminine, who's making a move towards you. There will be communication over the weekend. Um, and, ro and romance and feelings and affection and all of that. And then you've got a King of Wands showing up here who is um, physically passive. And that's what I want to say. There's not a lot of movement with the King of Wands, okay? But they are, it's like ready to go. It's kind of like they got their, they got their finger on the trigger. And as soon as some kind of burden... The struggle I'm hearing is done and they're at a peaceful place. Um, then they're ready to look forward to the future. Okay, You might have had an intimate connection with the fire. Um, or you may have one over this weekend with them. <laughs> Let me take a look at you, Virgo. Like I always say, you guys, whenever you, you get a bunch of different court cards showing up, then that's telling me there's some other people other actors in the in the story okay virgo so you've got the devil just flipped out in reverse capricorn energy see so, and, and there's also pisces here too so it looks like for you i'm asking for you over this weekend you are there's uh, there was something that i read once about the devil in reverse that the that I like an article that said it's all about having fun, sexy time, <laughs> having a fun, sexy time. Um, so either you're in that energy over this weekend, um, or you are like you, you have this 
I feel like recovered a recovery kind of energy where you're like not not feeling yeah that's what it is it's like a I'm not feeling chained or bound to one particular person um, but just kind of like yeah let's go have a fun sexy time let's go have a good time it doesn't have to involve the actual the physical the actual physical action of sex but it can involve intimacy kissing like it, it doesn't feel serious the devil in the upright is like uh, gripping um this feels kind of like light-hearted energy and not feeling possessed or controlled by any outcome or any situation okay so i'm asking about you virgo and that's where it's kind of like this light breezy <laughs> energy over the weekend where you're just like confident you feel strong you feel good you might be getting a lot of attention over this weekend as well okay you have some suitors um and you're not really bound to anyone in particular yeah look at you i get the nine of pentacles because virgo's like i'm all up on my game here <laughs> i mean you might not even have any game i'm just saying you're just basically like yeah, of course I have suitors. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> no, just kidding. I know that's so materialistic and selfish, but or self-centered kind of, but it's like you're good, Virgo. I feel like you're you're okay on your own and you're fine um to It's all about you're just all about you. That that's really what I feel like. Like not all about yourself like in a narcissistic way. It's just all about like what's gonna make me happy. Going on those solo pleasures, doing things for yourself, you know. Um, I don't know, maybe you're gonna just stay home this weekend and just wash your hair. Wh whatever you're gonna do. Like I feel like you're very focused on yourself and you're you're detached. You're not attached to any one person here over this weekend. Um yeah there's a king of pentacles okay so that's you you might even if you're a feminine you might be more in your masculine energy like you know what i'm all business this weekend i'm i'm, I'm taking care of business this weekend that's what i kind of feel like your message is here for you but otherwise what's come what's like surrounding you external to you is you've got a couple people who are um you have two people who are pretty much heavily into you over this weekend and there will be some communication mostly there will be communication from the king or queen of cups reaching um out to you or messaging you and as far as the king of wands i feel like they're waiting to hear back from you like they'll be waiting to hear back from you all right let's see what the chinese sign i'm gonna just take a look at your chinese sign virgo what is virgo's chinese sign here oh darn i'm gonna let me just give this a little bit of a better shuffle because we got some doubles showing up that were similar as before a little bit of a better shuffle here Virgo. yeah this is interesting but the weekend is all about physical intimacy um sexual chemistry okay definitely so you might have if there's two options which i see here that a choice needs to be made you're not make you're choosing yourself <laughs> you're choosing you some of you might even be choosing another earth sign okay and let's see some of you could also be on the cusp of leo virgo um all right let's see for virgo you have uh you could be year of the tiger the monkey hold on i don't want to get doubles the goat could also be the person or people that you have a connection with you have a horse horse is a horse is a horse of course you have the pig and the rat okay mm. messages of love for this particular reading for virgo oh okay <laughs> You've got a past. Okay, so you have different pages. You and a per you and one person don't share the same vision. You'll have to figure out who that is. You also have a past life love showing up here too. Okay, so some of you, this could be somebody from the past showing up and somebody new showing up. Okay, keep that in mind. You'll have to figure out which is which. One of them is a soulmate. One of them you're not really on the same page there you go decision you may need to decide about a relationship this weekend that's fine 
you may not be actually deciding on anything over the weekend which is why i was saying you can, it seems like you're kind of focused on you um and just because the cards say it's time to decide doesn't mean it has to be right now you know um uh, other messages here for virgo okay moving to a safe place so some of you might just be like look you're I, I'm focusing on like relocating over this weekend or I'm moving or I just want to be on my own. Okay. You've got positive vibes. So this is good. This is a sun energy. Have fun. Enjoy your life this weekend. Keep the focus on you and your playfulness. Just love your life this weekend. Some of you have a financial decision you need to focus on over this weekend as well, which I did feel like that was showing up you might be focusing on work or just doing your taxes or whatever <clears throat> or you could be in just complete business mode over this weekend uh i don't feel like for you love is really a priority over the weekend um maybe it's a sweet nice sweet thing but there is a love offer and the love offer feels like it's mostly coming from the king of cups okay virgo your messages sometimes um let's get some see what else we have here for initials so when i say king i always have to reiterate it's masculine or feminine king of cups or queen of cups okay you got the letter d you have a g and you have a y um we have the, the number 66 we have the month someone's birthday is in february you have 37 and 38 okay you have 88 27 and that feels like august 27th birthday you have the number 55 um 71 september 13th september 5th letter a um september 18th the number 50 um you have an r so uh, somebody, they're just saying, are you getting gas right now? If you're listening to this reading, are you in your car filling up? <laughs> How much is it? How much is the gas where you're at? Um, and I'm just, they gave me the word star. Okay. Somebody is a star or it's just a connection to a star. It could be an actual star. It could be like this, like a star. It could be an Aquarius. And, and now they're just saying an Aquarius rat. An Aquarius rat okay and some of you um, they're telling me five years five years uh, okay there's are showing me a vision of someone who's out in their backyard right now doing something in the yard maybe they're just walk maybe you're just walking through the yard or front yard backyard walking through a yard or doing something in a yard all right let me get some Chinese signs I mean, some zodiac signs here. Is any other zodiac sign here showing up for Virgo? All right, Taurus, Libra, and Aries. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, and Sagittarius. All right, and a charm for Virgo. Okay, they gave you two. They sh they're showing you two. Okay, so... You have a snowflake. So maybe you're going to get snow over this weekend. Big snow going forward. Or you, you already have snow. Or you're in a snowy area. Someone calls someone a snowflake. <laughs> or a flower. You also have forever. Okay. Forever. Hmm, Virgo. What does that mean for you? Somebody might have that tattooed or written like Sanskrit or script somewhere the word forever or someone says they want to be with you forever okay it could be a king of cups since they're making that love offer we're meant to be forever and ever or you have a tattoo like mom or something forever and ever or see it somewhere over this weekend all right Virgo I'm going to leave that portion there for you and we're going to move on to the next all right Virgo let's go on to your final reading here let's take a look and see what messages showing up here for your weekend 
and or going forward. Oh, okay, you've got patience. Just a few more months. Good things come to those who wait. Wow. All right, what's going on here, Virgo? They're telling you to be patient right now. All right, let's take a look and see. What does Virgo need to be patient about? A few more months. Just wait a few more months and that good thing is going to come to you. What good thing? What's this good thing for Virgo? Okay, it's just flipped out. Wow, just like last time. Okay. I always feel like this card, this Queen of Pentacles, is like she's looking at something. She's studying something. And it, it, she's inquisitive. She's trying to understand something here. Okay. Hmm. All right. So this kind of feels like um, <laughs> something that you're working on, Virgo, and it might have something to do with your finances or just being independent and solo. Um, they're saying, wait a couple more months. The magic, that's when the magic's going to happen. So it feels like maybe your career or your 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 money, your finances, you might be looking at your money or you're studying something or you're, it's something to do, it's all about the coins. Some kind of magical, some magic, maybe you find a magic bean. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, and I was just saying studying. And there's a three of pentacles. So that represents school. So there might be maybe graduating or getting a diploma or a degree. Um, or it could be you or somebody else. So a few more months would be... Did I say few? Yeah, a few more months. We're in January going into February, March, April. This has something to do um, with a child or children... Studying school, apprenticeship, maybe a startup for a business. It's all about blueprints. Could be about building a home. I feel like um, they're they're really just saying, wait, just wait a few more months for these things, because if you're you're working on something right now. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's not time yet. The magic is it's gonna the magic is gonna happen. If you're trying to manifest something or make something work out in your life right now, like today, you could be applying for a loan, or maybe you're looking at your credit score, or maybe you have to finish some classes, and maybe you're thinking like, oh, let me just pile them on now so I can get them done. Um, the, the reward, the magic of all of that, you know, what you're putting out there isn't coming to fruition until a few more months, okay? So maybe just keep an eye on things, but I feel like it's just not time yet for the result to come in. Like it's not going to happen just yet, and that's okay. So they're asking you to be patient, all right? So that's what that's starting out with as far as like money and 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 that kind of stuff okay now you have an unknown situation showing up here with king of cups okay that it's not fully they're not fully revealing something and it looks like you have to be patient it could be about their feelings or their deepest emotions um it could have something to do with taking some action or some direction they may not be sure what direction they're going to go or they or if they're going to go when they're going to go how they're going to go um there's something going on with the king of cups that's behind the scenes that they are trying to sort out and it's in regards to direction in regards to you all right and so maybe you're seeking answers from a king of cups you want some you know where's this going kind of thing they're not sure they they will know they'll figure it out it's going to take a little bit of time even if it has to do with travel or a trip together it's going to take a little bit of time that 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 moon card it gives me pisces vibes right so pisces is kind of like going with the flow 
right now okay um they're saying you need to be patient with a king of cups as far as where what they're planning or what they're something to do with travel yeah there you go and plans okay um it's not time right now a few more months you're waiting so if you have this person in an energy water energy or an actual uh water sign cancer pisces could be a scorpio um plans will be made it's just a timing thing i feel like it's a timing thing yeah i just saw the world so it's all about timing um and something new beginning a new chapter okay i feel like this king of cups wants a new chapter uh, to start something new cycle out of something from the past and have something beginning with you um, maybe you guys are at a distance here cross water for some of you or just at a distance from each other you don't have to be could just kind of be like in a different town as well um, but there's something I feel like this king of cups here is they're not revealing and for some of you yeah, they're kind of keeping things hush hush right now. For some of you, this person is not revealing that they're they're going to make change in a positive direction. They're cycling out of something and coming to, coming your way. Okay, so that's another message here. So again, it has to do with being patient. Just patience doesn't mean wait. Patience just means things will happen when they're meant to. So let me just do what i'm doing you know it doesn't mean holding the phone it doesn't mean pausing and stopping everything that you're doing in your life you know the you know how waiting is frustrating when you're not patient right then you're sitting in the doctor's office you know your appointments at 2 30 it's now 10 minutes after three you haven't been in they haven't seen you yet you know that can be frustrating because no, they're not saying anything to you, right? Um, I don't feel like it's that kind of scenario. And I feel like if you're in that kind of scenario, then you just need to distract yourself if you're, if you're in that position of waiting to hear something from someone. You can get out of that doctor's office, that waiting room, and just give them your number and be like, you know what, text me when they're ready and I'll come back. I got some stuff to do. That's the energy you really need to be in. Okay, you don't want to put your whole world on hold. You just want to keep it moving in your own life, right? Because then you get delays and everything gets backed up. Okay, is there any other messages here regarding patience for Virgo? Okay, so you've got the Four of Cups. You've got Temperance. Hmm, you've got the Seven of Cups. Oh, and you got the Eight of Pentacles, so that's interesting. Um timing is at play here definitely i kind of see as far as like all other areas of your life love career uh just life in general stuff um i feel like you're kind of here like not sure what to do right you're questioning should i put effort in to something should i like be consistent and put my effort in with a person place or a thing um or should i ghost someone and just leave it alone should i just be indifferent about something should i detach should i look at other options or should i just be patient yeah so i kind of feel like you feel like you need to do something you feel like you like you ha you have to do something. You might have this sense of urgency, and I feel like that's why patience is coming up. You might feel like you need to fix something, or you you have to you have to do you don't have to do anything. You just have to let energy flow to you. That's all. Um, try to I feel like don't put yourself in this position of needing to control an outcome. Just leave something be. 
Yeah, because it kind of feel like you're like, okay, should I do this or should I do that or should I not do this? And then if I don't do this, what will be the result? It's just overthinking. Temperance is just saying pace yourself, everything in moderation. Everything will come to you when it's meant to in divine timing. And you don't have to do anything, you know? All the good stuff, I believe, for you, Virgo, that happens in your life happens because you don't have your hands in it, really. And those are the gifts that you, even if you had your hands in it, you, you couldn't give yourself better gifts, right? The, the gifts that come down from spirit. What other messages are there here for you? Oh, that just flew right out. Oh, you've got intuition. You already know the answer you're, you seek. And I feel like the answer that you're seeking is you because you think you have to do something. The answer is just trust your intuition and just let things flow. That's all. You will know when you know. Okay, you've got vulnerability. So as far as another person, you can be completely open. You just had that. So I feel like that's a double strong message that you need to hear. You also have rejection again. Okay, so if you have some kind of rejection or you, you're feeling rejected, right now that's a, that's a sign of protection for you. Okay, you're being protected from something. And I feel like that's kind of like don't do anything. You know, just if, some, if, if, if you get rejected... Don't try to, if you get rejected by a person, place, or thing, um, don't try to, to change or mold that rejection. Don't try to beg or plead or because of the rejection. Just, just take one for the team, Virgo. <laughs> just be like, all right, next time. All right, I, got, I lost on this one. That's okay. Something better will come along. I feel like that's like the strongest message here for you. Be patient with yourself as well, you know. Sometimes that rejection leads to something better, you know? Okay. Someone is gripped in this connection. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts, okay? That could be you, Virgo. You might be, like, feeling obsessive about, that's why patience is here. Like, breathe. Exhale. You need to exhale for, over something here, okay? It's going to come. It's, it's going to happen for you. Whatever this thing is, this love, this career thing, this life thing, um, when you let go of it is generally when it comes to you. And you have trust. It's safe to trust in this situation. So that's really a strong message, Virgo, for you to like, just trust the process. Just trust the process, Virgo. You don't need to worry about anything. Just be patient. Worrying is just going to make your head hurt and waste time. All right. So, Virgo, that could be you, highly logical male. If you're a Virgo male, uh, use your logical brain, not your emotional brain. You could do that if you're a, a Virgo female as well. Masculine or feminine. And hmm, some of you need to hit rock bottom. And you know what that means? Surrender. That's what it is. Some of you just need to surrender to something. And just kind of make your mantra for this weekend is, you know, if it's or, or the week or just your life. If it's meant for me, it will not pass me by. That's all. And just be happy. Just relax. You also have hope. Okay. So I always like to say hope for the best. Expect the worst. Expect the worst, but hope for the best. Okay. Then you have a nice balance. All right. Um. Trust, but verify. Trust the process. Okay, when you wish upon a star, right? Maybe you need to make some of those wishes. When you let go and you just practice patience, your hope, faith, and wishes will be restored. Okay? And you make a wish right now, believing that it is yours. Right? So, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm, I'm actually kind of looking at when I created these cards and I'm like, whoa, some of the, I need to make a new deck. I think I'm going to make a new deck. Who here would like to get a new deck from me? I think I'm going to make a new one here. Just for House of Virgo. Just for you guys. Let me take a look. One more message here. Okay. Some of you, I will say, and I've said it before, are seeking to buy a new home or secure a loan or a mortgage or a home. It's going to come. Just not right now. Now's not the time. Maybe you need to wait until the market shifts <laughs> downward. Um, prices go down rates go down hopefully they will i don't know i'm not a not a i'm not a money person as far as that stuff goes finances like i don't study that but keep an eye on it 
you know, I keep an eye on it, but I do feel like that's like a message if if you're if you're even if you're just looking to move or relocate or you can't find anything right now, it's something's going to come up for you. You're going to be able to secure a home, whether that's purchase or rent or whatever it might be, lease. Yeah. Okay. These messages, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to get some other. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. Okay. So 68 is showing up here, the letter H. 50, 35, 24. Okay, August 24th. So these could be birth dates, ages, whichever. Let's see. Um, someone is saying, I just heard someone is telling me to tell you to say hi. Is, is, say, is telling me to tell you they say, they're saying hi. Or someone wants, is trying to say hi to you. Okay, let me see who it is. There's a sign. Okay, for some it's a Taurus. For some it's a Sag. And for some, it's a Pisces. They want to say hello to you? Or they're saying hello to you? Okay. You have the letter T. Okay. September 16th, significant day. Birth date. Oh. We have the letter B. Oh, I just heard Beth or Elizabeth. Um, September 3rd. August 26th, okay, 61, and for your charm, Virgo, you have like a bow tie or a ribbon. Okay, so this could be, it's so funny because, so I have, um, I have a um, infinity symbol tattoo on my foot. And the person that did it many, many, many years ago was very heavy handed. And he tried to make it look like the an affinity symbol, but he made it actually look like a bow. And it, I never got it fixed. And the reason I never got it fixed is because it's a really painful place to have a tattoo. And I don't, I, you know, I don't know what, what I was thinking at the time, but I just really wanted it. So it was supposed to be like, um, Japanese blossoms on a, on a tree with the infinity symbol and it turned out looking just like that minus the two little pieces down here at the bottom I don't know maybe I should go get it fixed but I just I can't deal that was so painful because on the top of my foot that's the most pain I think I would birth 10 babies before I would do that again that was really Glutton for punishment, I guess, but um, there is a bow tie here, so there may be a gift coming to you. Uh, maybe you have like a bow tie tat somewhere. Um, and I'm also hearing, let's wrap this up. So I'm going to leave your reading there. <laughs> um, again, if you want to get a personal reading, you guys, with me, go ahead and click that link in the description box where you can get a text. I do have hours on Saturday, so you can book with me on Saturday. If you can't get one with me, you can book a reading with Brandy. She's also available. Um, but you can do a phone call reading, or you can book with me um, a text where you just book your reading and send me five questions with your phone number and I will text you your reading. I'll text you your answers, okay? All right, you guys, so have a fantastic week, weekend, month, everything, and uh, I will see you all back here very soon. Love you, bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.